I'm here at Universal Studios Florida to show you what goes into the making of a teen idol with the Backstreet Boys. Kind of the person who decides who's going to be on the cover sometimes, don't you, by the wonderful pictures you take. The editors decide who's going to be on the cover. I just go out and shoot them. And shoot them she does. On location, after location. Oh, the tough life on the road for a teen idol on the rise. First of all, you have to find out uh, the chemistry between the boys' work, and uh, so you find five guys that really have talent, really can sing, have a look. And the boys have to be cute to make it on the cover, don't the they? The boys do have to be cute. It helps to be talented, too, but they do have to be cute, yeah. Then what we did was we sent them out on a 10-week tour throughout schools throughout the United States. They did two schools each day, elementary, <laughs> high school, and junior high schools, to find out if the girls and the audiences were into the music that they were doing and the look itself. And our response is what? Uh, I was screaming and yelling, going crazy, um, and that's how we got our record deal. I actually took my cellular phone and walked through the auditorium and let them scream and yell and left it on, on someone's answering service at a record company. So when 16 Magazine puts somebody on the cover, they're pretty much assured of success at that point, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Yeah, as long as the product and the talent backs it up, for sure. You probably meet a lot of stars on the rise, so you'd be a pretty good judge. Well, uh, yeah, doing this for 15 years, um, you see them come and you see them go, but again, it's first impressions, and, and I saw originally a videotape of them performing and knew right away that they had great potential. How does it feel to be a teen idol on the rise? It hasn't hit me yet, but I'm, I'm sure it will. And when it, like, when it does, it'll be pretty big. It hasn't really hit me yet. Um, when I think about what we're headed for and what we're going to be doing, it's, it's kind of scary. Of course, our hall monitor on patrol would kill me if I didn't ask these not-so-typical teens some of his questions. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you in front of a girl? Um, wow. Um, I was in front of a bunch of guys and girls, and one of my buddies dropped my shorts on me. Why do you think guys don't dance at parties? I think guys are really shy because guys just have this big fear of rejection, so they're always, you know, scared to ask girls to dance, or whatever. What kind of girls do you like? Betty Boo, Jessica Rabbit, um, the woman from Cool World. I'm talking about real women. I don't really have a girlfriend right now, but you know, all the girls out there, you know, they they're considered all my girlfriends, you know. Always looking. <laughs> Hear that, girls? He's looking. Yeah. You're in the market, huh? <laughs> What's the biggest lie you ever told a girlfriend? Uh oh, I know that one. Oh, the biggest <laughs> lie. Yeah, that was, well, I'm a Does your mother know you eat with that mouth? Let's try again. What's the biggest lie you ever told? The biggest lie I ever told a girlfriend? Go ahead, AJ. You go ahead. Tell My age. Are you ever afraid a girl's gonna want to go out with you just because you're famous? Not really afraid of that, but you know, maybe maybe more in the future. I'll be worried about that when I'm like, when you're really also rich. <laughs> <laughs> when you're promoting a new group, it must cost a lot of money. Oh yeah. Seems to me these guys are worth the investment. Autographs, pictures, promotions, and hopefully lots of screaming fans. Ultimately, you're the one who makes the Teen Idols star rise.